So, this video is going to be on my newest uh, rifle. This is from Imperial Tropics. Check them out if you hang. And uh, buy direct from the breeders, you know, imperialtropics.com. They was very nice with the order, handling with the order. Kept me very informed on it. Uh, it comes in insulation. Now, I done got my fish out of this because uh, my buddy wanted to see them while he was here. And, uh... I had to show them off, so I didn't get to an unboxing, but I still get to show you uh, uh, me adding them to a little uh, 10 gallon quarantine tank for now, or two quarantine tanks, but that's the box they come in, very well packaged, very happy with the packaging, now let's check out the fish. So this is my order from Imperial Tropics, now uh, I got them sitting on my washer here, and uh, you know, just uh, coming to room temperature, uh, because I keep my tanks uh, heated by room temperature and stuff so that's basically what I'm doing just letting these guys just acclimate to the temperature in the room before I add them to a tank a quarantine tank because I don't add nothing new now these guys is probably gonna go in a little 10 gallon for now and uh, be quarantined for two weeks so maybe two two 10 gallons if they don't get along good enough and then uh, move to a 55 grow out tank. That's the plans. But this guy is a Cuban. They are seven Cubans here and four Dovi. This is the Dovi. You should be able to see him a whole lot better once I add them to a tank. So I let everything come to room temperature and uh, then we go toss them in a quarantine tank. So this is my quarantine tank that the uh, seven Cubans and four Dovi is going into. Now this tank had an Oscar in it, uh, baby Oscar. He was going through a two week quarantine. He finished his quarantine about three days ago and I moved him today. I like to keep at least something in here, freight food or something to keep the bacteria and stuff in this tank. I like my quarantine tanks to be cycled. Now I got this on a metal stand. I usually move a stand around depending. But I had tanks all the way across these walls here on shelves. So here's a shelf. I just rearranged and tore down a tank. Other than that, moved it to another location as I'm building a new racking system all the way across through here. All the way around. I don't know. I'll tell them how many tanks it hold. We know when I'm done with it. But uh, I'm going to let these guys accumulate to the room temperature. I don't want heaters. I actually heat this room. And I'm actually cool this room too with fans. So it works out great. I got to finish painting this wall too. Don't pay it no attention. Just, you know, I was moving tanks and shelves and stuff around. And you know how it goes. You, you only can paint sections. <laughs> if you watch any of my videos, you've seen we started with just that section. And moved around to this section but there's a lot of stuff coming you just gotta stay tuned so i add them as soon as they get done accumating so this is the cubans and dovi you can see a dovi right there and this is the cubans up front they are settling in nicely now uh this is the 10 gallon quarantine tank as i said it's already cycled i put for a substrate in my tanks, I might eventually set up a quarantine tank with substrate. But I usually just use a glass bottom because I do move these quarantine tanks quite a bit. I even set up totes if you have uh, seen my previous videos for quarantines for bigger fish and stuff. And now if these uh, guys get too picky at one another, you can see that the Cubans is already aggressive. Actually more aggressive than the Dovi. You know, the Cubans is highly aggressive. So I actually might have to... Uh, Depending on the aggression they show, uh, go ahead and set up another quarantine tank. I actually might have to set up three to four quarantine tanks if aggression gets too much. But what I'm going to do is add more vegetation in here, some fake plants and stuff, give them more territories to hide in. It should take down a lot of the aggression. And they just a certain dominance since they just arrived and it's a new tank. they getting the pecking order lined out. But all in all, Imperial Tropics didn't disappoint. These fish is very active, very healthy looking. No fish in here looked like it had ick or anything the matter with it. But I still quarantine all new arrivals. Uh, in this tank right now is uh, 
Hickex, and uh, General Cure. I do treat with Elamycin sometimes, uh, but that is if the fish is actually showing signs of bacterial infection and stuff, which these are not. So I'm going to give them uh, a week of Ikex, maybe a week and a half of Ikex, and uh, two doses of General Cure, and they should be ready by end of two week quarantine to uh, be added to a 55 gallon grow out tank, which should, should make them feel very happy I have a lot more space. So if you like these uh, fish, let me know in the comment section if you want a video of them growing up and maybe document everything, comment section, see how fast they grow and uh, smash that subscribe button and be sure to show your support by smashing that subscribe button for my channel thank you for watching see you next time